Here we have uh, Eloise. We did quite a few drawings for Eloise with her being one of our main characters and a new character at that. Uh, we did a lot of exploring with hairstyles and outfits and all kinds of things, trying to find the right look for her. And again, we, we had trouble with either she looked a little too old for the part or maybe too young. And uh, then as we uh, got into it a little bit more, the, the question became, what would she be wearing on a sea voyage? And in some of the costumes, she felt maybe a little too dressed up and uh, maybe like she was ready for a ball or a party rather than sailing. So as we moved towards some of the, the later designs, we started to simplify her outfits a little bit more and make it look like something she'd actually wear out at sea more and more drawings, we start to nail down certain hairstyles that we, we like the best, and then certain aspects of this dress or that dress on different sketches, we start to combine them, and slowly we start to get the, the final look that we're, we're looking for. This is the uh, final drawings that were done for Eloise. This is her lineup. We have a front, back, side, and three-quarter view. And these are the drawings that we take to the modelers uh, to, to actually build her character in 3D. This, this helps us see her, what her hair looks like from all angles and her dress and the shape of her body as well. She was one of the harder characters once we went to modeling. Uh, the hair, it looks great here in 2D, but once you start to build the model in three dimension, it, uh, it brings out some problems that in the 2D drawings, you kind of cheat things. And uh, her hair was a, a bit of a challenge, but in, in the end, I, I feel that she came out very well. It was one of our, our better characters on this film.